The game just crashed. No way. Oh my god, when was the last time I saved? Shit. Hello everybody, I'm Coach Sushi. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Gaia. In the last episode, uh, we actually exited the tunnel above me, uh, which was the uh, Archon Tunnel, I believe, um, and ended up down back here. And I'll go ahead and show you on the town map specifically where we are in case you are wondering. But basically, uh, we found out that we need to uh, go to um, top of a some sort of mountain. But anyways, uh, so Solanto Town is right here, our hometown, and we ended up right here. So what we need to do is actually head back up here. Uh, Mount Ignis's foot is right there. I'm assuming that means the mountain is here-ish. So I'm assuming that's where I need to go. And I did a lot of looking around uh, to sort of really find out my, you know, find my bearings and where I am. And I found a couple items. There's a Thunderstone, which I think I actually might have gotten another episode. Uh, there's a Revive, and uh, I think I just got an Orin Berry somewhere. Yeah, I got a, in my berry pouch, I have uh, one Orin Berry just to, to last me the rest of the game. So, in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and head north, because that is where I feel like we need to go next. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but we can check by going over here um, and going ahead and smashing these rocks and finding out what what is in store for us on the other side. So this is Nest Pine Climb. You're a trainer. Hello. Are you aware of the awe that Mount Ignis inspires? Uh, d no. But I guess since you said Mount Ignis, I'm on the right track because that's where I was told to go next. You are challenged by Battle Gold Girl Martha. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this trainer, ASAP. And I'm still really curious on what that egg is. Pancham is my favorite looking Pokemon in the newer generations. Just because I love pandas, they're my favorite animal. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on. Oh, there's an item over here. Except I didn't use a repel. Should I use a repel? Fanpy's a fun Pokemon. I used to love uh, Fanpy, or uh, yeah, Fanpy. Because I know, I remember Ash having one. And that was, like, the reason why I loved it, for whatever reason. Uh, so let's go ahead and move here. Uh, you are going to be a ghost-type trainer from your look. I love I love that, honestly, that some you, that you can tell what type of Pokemon trainers use. Just in Pokemon in general, and, like, in any of the Pokemon games, you can tell what Pokemon they use, judging by their, uh... <coughs> judging by their, um... Uh, their sprites, which I think is really cool. Um, go ahead and use Razor Leaf. And fireworks are still crackling and exploding in the background. I should go ahead and speed this up, uh, so I don't have to waste too much time. My midnight's already level 25. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, yes. Up here is one nugget, which I can sell for five grand. Okay, so, uh, are you a specific item or anything, or are you just like a random rock that I can smash? Or is a Pokemon gonna appear? Nope, okay. And you're most likely gonna have rock or fighting type Pokemon from the usual, uh, s sense of the, uh, karate type, uh, or kung fu sprites. Uh, Krogunk is... Okay, Krogunk... The first time I saw Krogunk was, I think, a Diamond Pearl episode. Uh, Brock had one. It became my least favorite Pokemon right away, and I sincerely... Do not remember why. Why can't I get this? Oh, okay. It's whatever. Uh, are you a trainer? It's a long way up to Nest Pine Town. Okay. Uh, good to know. Are you a trainer? Yes, you are a trainer. If you can best me in a Pokemon duel, I will heal you. In oh, cool. Yeah, dude. Shaman, let's go. Fight me so I can heal. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Watch this guy have like 50 level 100 Pokemon, because that totally makes sense in this game. But he has a Pan Sage. I can imagine he has a Pan Pour and whatever the fire one is. So let's find out together, why don't we? <clears throat> okay, so Razor Leaf obviously doesn't do that much, but I mean, it's probably one of my stronger moves. I know it is one of my strongest moves at the moment for Midnight. Um, but he went ahead and withdrew Pan Sage. Oh, he doesn't have a Pan Pour or the Fire type. I forget what the name of the Fire type was. Anyways. Let's go ahead and just keep spamming. And you have another berry. Let's go ahead and keep spamming Razor Leaf because this is going to be a pretty fast fight as long as I speed this up. I don't know why he withdrew that Pokemon, but I might as well go ahead and shit all over his face. He's going to send out an Absol next. Okay, let's go ahead and send out an Absol. Um, so yeah, now that we're in, I think, what, episode 4? Um, how are you guys feeling about the, uh, sped up 
battles because that is something I'm kind of like experimenting with, trying to see if you guys like it or if you guys prefer it rather than really long drawn out battles or just random cuts almost every episode. Um, because I feel like it it disturbs the flow of the episode whenever I get cut off by um, random battles like this. So I feel like it's easier to just talk through it um, and. Uh, just speed things up, which you can manually do on the emulator. So, uh, are you a trainer? Hey, do you like camping? I guess. No. F no. Uh, okay. If I don't, <laughs> I don't share your opinion. Fight me now. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and send out Shinx, um, which I'm actually okay with. If I'm just speeding these battles up. Uh, ooh, he's gonna send out a Charmander. If I'm just speeding these battles up, I think it's, uh, I think it's better because this way I actually get more experience. Um, than before when I used to just literally skip every random battle. Because uh, if you've seen any of my previous ROM hack videos, you know that I every time I go on a long rant, I get cut off by random battles every two seconds. So this way, it's a lot easier. After I finish working for today, I'm going to hike up to Windmist City and relax at the Windmist Timber Guild. Ooh, sounds fun. Uh, where are we currently? Actually, no, it doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure we're close. Uh, are there any items here? Wait, hold on. What is... Another fan pee. Fan pee! Fan pee! <clears throat> what is up here? Nothing, except potentially an item. There are so many fan pees. <clears throat> Debating on using a repel or not. But we don't. There isn't a relic copper. What the hell is that? Relic copper. Explain. A copper coin used by an ancient civilization. What the hell? Can I sell that? Um, okay, you know what I wish Pokemon would actually do? I wish they would give us the sell price for these items sometimes. Uh, it's just so we know how much they sell for, like, in, like, in your bag. Um, but I guess in real life that never is the case, but whatever. Can you smell the refreshing air? It makes me feel like I can take on anything. Let's fight! Okay, I'm gonna shit all over your face. Let's go ahead and spam Razor Leaf. I'm surprised I haven't run out of... PP for Ro Razor Leaf. Ah, oh, it's about halfway through. More or less. But I really shouldn't waste it when I don't need to, so let's just use Absorb. And let's see what the last Pokemon is. Mega Drain! Ooh! Hell yeah! Give me Mega Drain instead of Absorb. Only 15 PP. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, Bonsly, did it say? Okay, yeah, Bonsly. Uh, yeah, let's use Mega Drain. Might as well heal myself up. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and use Bite. And you are dead. And I'm starting to get used to this fast pace. Uh, are you an item? No. Okay. Fast pace battling. Um. Okay. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna start using Repel. I don't want to deal with this stuff anymore. Let's go ahead. Would you like to cut it? Yes, I would, sir. Yes, I would. Or ma'am, whoever's watching this. One silk scarf. I. Don't think I need that yet, depending on what that egg Pokemon is. Wow, did we seriously just arrive at the town when I started using Repel? Damn it! <sighs> okay, well, let's go ahead and heal, I guess, while we're here. Um, but anyways, uh, so a lot of you uh, have actually tweeted at me, um, asking me to do certain... Uh, certain games in the future, uh, some of which are not Pokemon. I'm still trying to figure out if I only want to do Pokemon or not. Pokemon, I think, is by far the most fun I have and the most appealing, in my opinion. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, if you guys prefer Pokemon, then I'll go with it. Um, I, right now, there aren't there aren't any games that... Uh, there aren't any other... There aren't any non-Pokemon games that I want to do yet. Um, I heard Undertale's really good. I recently played Ori in the Blind Forest, and oh my god, that game's amazing. Um, and I was going to do a blind run of it just for funsies. What the hell? Uh, team? Oh my god, I just got stuck. D game? Did I, did I just get stuck? What the hell? I just got stuck. The game just crashed. No way. Oh my god, when was the last time I saved? Shit. Okay. 
And we're back! I had to go all the way back from the first gym to get all the way over here, so note to self, this game apparently crashes sometimes. So, uh, make sure to save often. Uh, I actually haven't healed here yet. Well, I might have healed previously, but since coming back here, I haven't healed. So, anyways, I don't know what I was talking about prior, because to me, that was about like half an hour ago. Um, Alright, I'm over-exaggerating. Like, oh yeah, about half an hour ago. So I had to do that all over again. That was pretty dumb, but that's okay. Things happen in ROM hacks, but I think the next place we need to go to now is the Frostbite Cave. Because this guy did say he saw some shady people uh, going through this cave. Uh, ooh, this cave is pretty. Uh, let's go ahead and use Repel. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and just use... I have one Repel left. That's okay. Okay, what Pokemon do you have? Let's see what happens this time. So yeah, I had to do all of that over again, which was really, really annoying. But I mean, you know what? It's okay. It happens. ROM hacks, they're not perfect games. They're bound to crash every now and then. Um, so, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Next time, it, uh, I just it's lesson learned. I need to save way more often. So, that's okay. Lesson learned for next time. So, oh, sorry. Uh, ooh, shady man. Scram, kid, I've got to clear these rocks before my boss gets here. Okay. Um, of course, she found one super potion. Uh, do I need to be here at all yet, then? So I can't surf. Um, I don't think I need to do that. Uh, Pell's effect wore off. I don't know what kind of Pokemon will be in here, but let's find... Are there even going to be Pokemon in here? I guess not. Um, so I guess I can't go in there yet, but at least we know that exists. Um, this looks like a suspicious spot. Is there an item here? Nope. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, actually, while I'm here, I might as well go ahead and buy some more potions and repels. So, yeah, I had to do all that over again, but thanks to, uh, shout out to Pentatonix and their, you know, number one selling album, because I'd listened to them for the past half hour, trying to get to where I am. So thanks to them for that, and let's buy more Repel. So yeah, go buy their album. I'm in no way sponsoring them whatsoever, but I mean, they're awesome, and I like their music, so. And they came from YouTube, which is another bonus, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so where are we right now? Aspen Town? I'm not inside. Okay. Where am I going? Uh, am I going this way? Aha! You look important. Oh, hey, Casey, what's up? Oh, it's Koshi! It's been quite some time, hasn't it? Yes, it has. I never found Herschel, but the professor told me all about how Apex Temple is where we should be headed. On the way up, I thought I'd challenge the gym here. I'm surprised it took you this long to get here, you bitch. Say it's <clears throat> say it's been a long time since we first battled. I have improved a lot, you know. Don't hold back. God damn it. Okay. So rival battle time. Let's see what this guy's got. Let's see what you've got. I I like the sprite edits in this one. I was actually looking at um, older versions or older oh yeah, older beta versions of this. Uh, game and they actually just stuck with uh, regular um, uh, sprites from Fire Red and Leaf Green, uh, which I mean, like I would have accepted, but I'm really glad they came. Uh, they came up with new sprites for this game. They came up with uh, uh, original, uh, original characters, original character sprites, and so on and so forth. So I think that's really, really nice of them. Uh, Monferno. I don't have a water type yet. I really should catch a water type at some point. Um, but hopefully sheer strength alone will be able to win. Pure, uh, sheer strength and willpower and my love for Pokemon will bring me through. As long as I believe in the heart of the cards, we'll be okay. And I have a hyper po or a super potion, so I think we're good. And use taunt for whatever reason. Um, I really should catch new Pokemon, uh, but we'll get there. Like I said before, I'm really not the type to catch multiple Pokemon in a run, but I know it's a good idea to do so. So I will get to it, I promise you. Um, I do like... Uh, I do like having uh, one really strong Pokemon in case, like, my team's getting really... like, getting trashed on. Um, but like I said, m most Pokemon games, I like to stick with the story. So I like to... Ooh, Mega Drain! Uh, so I like to... Um, I guess we'll just get rid of... Uh, I'm sorry. Actually, no! We already... Mega Drain? Oh, okay, I had already, I already learned Mega Drain prior to this, but I had to start over and get to this part again. So he's learning Mega Drain again. Uh, Luxio? Yeah, we'll do the... we'll do the, the bait and switch, I guess. 
Uh, I don't know if that's what you would actually call it. Um, but actually, yeah, I had to catch a new Nidoran, so I don't, I don't think the name is exactly spelled like how I did before. But let's go ahead and use a Super Potion on Midnight. <clears throat> so he's going to go ahead and die, but since my Pokemon's already healed, I don't have to waste a turn uh, healing. And he's poisoned, that's even better. Um, not that it matters, because I think I can kill him in one hit, but we'll see what happens. Let's try out Mega Drain. Uh, I would like to see if I could do that. It's weird because Mega Drain absorbs the health, right? Or absorbs the, uh, the life force. So it's like, would I absorb the poison life from Luxio if I used Mega Drain? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how physics works, but <clears throat> let's go and use Mega Drain. And that will not kill it. I thought it would do way more than that, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and use uh, Razor Leaf one more time. Actually, if I use Mega Drain again, it will die next turn no matter what. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, might as well use Mega Drain just to get that extra health. Because I don't know what the last Pokemon it could be. It could be like a Rayquaza for all I care. Um, you never know. It could be. You never, you never know. It actually could be. So let's see what happens. Uh, oh, actually it didn't die. Poison will not kill it unless... No, okay, I won't kill it. Let's just go ahead and use Tackle then. Uh, it's going to go ahead and use a Spark. Hopefully it doesn't do too much. Yeah, it doesn't do too much at all. Let's go ahead and use Tackle. I am paralyzed, though, so that's not good. That does mean I do have a chance to not hit, which has screwed me over. I've actually had to redo multiple battles on the way back here just because I kept getting paralyzed and was really annoying. Also, I hate you for having double team. I hate that shit. I hate evasiveness. That shit's really dumb because I just missed my attack and I'm paralyzed. So chances are I have a 10% chance of actually hitting now. I'm not using any math to deduce that whatsoever, but that's what it feels like at this moment. Unless I one hit KO. Okay, cool. So as long as I would hit him once, we were fine. Okay, you lost again, that's right, because I'm pro, bitch. Okay. Okay. Maybe my Pokemon aren't strong like yours because of this experience share! I guess you could find a better use for it. Oh, awesome, I have an experience share now. Anyway, okay, so let's see... Okay, I will meet you at Apex Temple. Okay, so let's see if my theory was correct. Experience share. Uh, an item to... Okay, so only the holder gets the experience share. That's fine. That's perfectly understandable. I was hoping it was going to be like uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire where it's like it would give me the experience share for all of it. <clears throat> but, you know, for all for my whole party, I mean. But, you know, it's whatever. That's fine with me. But we do have a gym to catch up to. Okay, so now that we're uh, ready and prepped, let's see what this gym is about. I don't know what kind of Pokemon this gym uses, but let's see. Hello. Hey there, champ, you're a Pokemon trainer. Yes, I am. If you're going to take down Aria, Stark, you're going to need to know all the trainers here use Grand Flying types. Uh, well, I mean, eh, whatever. YOLO. Let's see what happens. I don't have any electric types. I was debating on getting um, a Mareep earlier. Uh, like way earlier, I think it was episode 3, or actually no, that was last episode, episode 2 or 3, um, but I mean, didn't happen. Emolga, let's, oh, okay, let's see how much Razor Leaf does. I don't expect to win this, or to like, sweep this whole gym. It doesn't feel like that's the case. Also, I should be speeding this up because these aren't important battles. Even though they are required, these aren't very important, so let's see where we have to go next. These are all flying types, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep through all of these really quickly. And actually, while I'm doing this, I did want to explain one thing. So a while ago, I think it was episode one, I said there was a, a huge burst of inspiration for me doing Pokemon games again, or for me to, doing le to do Let's Plays again, and the, I would explain the reason why much, much later. Um, so I might as well, you know, uh, explain the reasoning. Uh, the reason why is my baby brother, he is 11 years old, watches my videos, and he was really disappointed when I didn't when I told him I was kind of done doing YouTube videos um, and then I saw him watch you know my videos and I saw him watch other people's Pokemon videos uh, he's really into Pokemon and other people's you know, just gaming videos in general and it just gave me this huge inspiration to like want to do these videos for my brother which I think like is really sweet um, so that was my that was basically my form of inspiration to uh, really continue doing this uh, 
now not just for me, but for, I guess, the future. Like, for my baby brother, his name is Francis. Uh, I call him baby, baby brother, but he's, like, he's, like, 11 years old, but he's, like, the youngest of my siblings, so I just consider him the baby of the group. So that's personally why I wanted to keep doing this again. Um, you know, among other reasons, I wanted, I wanted to go back into it for a while. Um, but, you, you know, things, things happen. Especially, um... When Project Virus started happening, when I started working on the show, I knew it was going to be really difficult, but I wanted to see if I can do both Virus and, or, you know, do both the show and this show at the same time. So, uh, we'll see if I can pull through with it. Uh, but thankfully, I have a great group of friends back home in, uh, in Albuquerque, and the, hopefully they can help me uh, manage everything. Uh, but, you know, uh, you know, this adds to me being busy. I guess I have a show to do, I have a university to go to, and I have now YouTube to, to do. It's not like I'm forcing myself to do this, but it's something I really want to do now. And I think, personally, I can keep doing it uh, if I, you know, sort of apply myself, I guess. And maybe you guys are like, no, you're never going to be able to finish this. This is, too, this is too much for you. This was too much for you before you went to the university. So... We'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, speaking of sh the show, by the way, I don't know if I'm when I can update you guys and specifically what happens. Uh, but basically, the show's release date got moved. Uh, you know, like TLDR, the show's release date release date got moved. And first, she sends out a volibi. Back to the back to the game here. Uh, sorry about ranting for a little bit. Okay, so she sends out a volibi, which is a really creepy looking Pokemon. But let's go ahead and just use Razor Leaf to see what happens. She uses Nasty Plot. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's see how much Razor Leaf does. I suspect it to not do that. Oh, critical hit. Uh, not specifically what I'm looking for, especially because if I do another one and it's not a critical hit, m chances are they will use a potion. Um, I don't know how much Gust will do. Okay, Gust is going to do a lot of health. Um, chances are that she's going to use a potion next. Maybe not. Maybe Tackle will do a lot. I'm not entirely sure, but... Gust does pretty much a third of my health, which is really threatening. Um, we'll see how we do here. Pidgeotto. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Um, maybe I can survive one more hit. No, I should use a potion. I should really use a potion. <coughs> but Pidgeotto... Uh, okay, Gust from Pidgeotto doesn't do too much. I'm hoping Tackle would actually be the best case scenario here, but it might not be. I'm not entirely sure. I do have Mega Drain still. I feel like one more Tackle will for sure kill it though, and if it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. It's gonna use one more Wing Attack. Okay, let's use Tackle. And boom, done. Fantastic. Okay, let's see what you have next. A Chat Hot. Uh, no, let's not. I'm really afraid the last Pokemon, it throws out will be like the deal breaker and I'll just like get totally trashed on but we'll see this is chatter it shouldn't do too much okay it does it's super effective and I'm confused okay that could be the deal breaker right here um, let's go ahead and try a tackle okay hopefully chatter doesn't kill me if it does okay I really can't be confused right now if I get hit okay cool Okay, so, tackle, okay, critical hit. I'm gonna go ahead. No, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and use a super potion. And, if he uses chatter, okay, how much damage does this do? Let's find out. Okay, it does approximately 40. Oh, th I think I lost this. I sincerely think I lost this. I might have actually lost this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, I lost it. Okay. 